I'm remembering stuff that's never even happened, then nothing makes sense. Some of it might. Did Sam stand by my bed at the Institute? No! She's never even been to the Institute! So, I mean, what's to sort out? If... If that memory was bogus, then all of them are. Okay, just just take it easy. Why don't you just admit that I'm crazy? I know this isn't fun. And it is a process, like we keep saying, but you will get through this. I couldn't even get through my first day at Madison. Jax pulled all these strings to get me in there, and I'm already cutting class. Hey, okay, it's no big deal. I'm sure your mother can dream up some excuse my for you. My mom cannot have any stress. There's no way that I can tell her that I cut my first day of school because I had to have some meltdown over here. Why are you being so hard on yourself? Okay, and you cannot push yourself to remember. You need to give yourself some time to heal, my I mean, I can't even tell the difference between what's happened and what hasn't. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It's not your job to figure out who the villain is. There might not even be a villain. Some villains are vague. Some villains are clear. Some are standing by the bed. And some are in the mirror. What's wrong, Michael? Why are you still looking at yourself in the mirror? It's the fortune teller again. Okay, well, why are you thinking about her? Because most carnival fortune tellers are fakes. This one isn't. Why do you think that, Michael? Because I'm crazy. Do we go after him? No, he's just gonna feel more pressure. It's better just to give him some time. Okay, well, what about the fortune teller? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Michael's so desperate for answers, he's gonna take him from anybody. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. We brought our readings to practice. Yep. Hey, no meltdowns in front of Molly and Christina, okay? I will not allow Maxie to throw her life away. It is her life, not yours. Oh, great. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. It's Maxie's day. Tomorrow is Maxie's day. This afternoon is my last chance to save her. Uncle Mac, you've done such a great job raising her. Maybe it's time now to just trust her and let go. Let go? For her to go where? To what? A thug and a professional killer? Come on. Ugh, I have faith in you. I know you can get through this. Honestly, Mac, it's not your choice. You're right. Let's get this show on the road. Why is everyone sitting around? Where's the damn priest? Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> okay, we're finished here. Damien Spinelli, you are under arrest. I am not going to allow Maxie to get married by whatever this is. He's a Buddhist monk, sir. Buddhism is essentially... A path to salvation attained through insight into the ultimate nature of reality. It often involves vegetarianism, chanting, and a peaceful resolution to all conflict. Well put, my child. I am looking for the garden room. Oh, um, that's the room that we made memorable last night? Oh, right. <laughs> Down the hall on the left. Ah. Uh, and I wish you two lasting peace and happiness. Namaste. Namaste. Stop saying that. Would you cut it out? Why am I the only one upset about this? Jason, you're the reason Spinelli is here. Can't you stop him? Isn't the priest supposed to be here, yeah, I'm Spinelli? Sure, I'm sure he's just a few minutes tardy, that's all. Maybe he got the dates mixed up and we're going to have to postpone. Never. Nothing will stop us from proceeding with our boundless love. Uh, uh, no, no. No priest, no rehearsal, no rehearsal, no wedding. That's it, everyone. Pack it up, folks. The wedding's off. It's all been a big misunderstanding. I'm sure, the most, the, room. I'm sure the most reverend Father Coates would not miss such a, a momentous occasion. It's over, Spinelli. Everybody go home. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. I took a wrong turn at the first set of French doors. But I ran into the most fascinating Buddhist monk who said something about chanting for peace and understanding in this room. Don't talk to me about chanting. He was offering a chant on your behalf. A very kind and generous offer, I think. Yeah, and he reminded me that love is the most powerful force in the universe and that it can bring us all together no matter how far apart we may seem. Hey. Why are you being so quiet right now? 
Michael got all upset and left school today. I don't know if he's going to fit in at Madison after all. Well, you know, Michael is going through a lot right now. I'm really worried about him. But I can only protect him so much. Hey, come on, guys. They're ready. Let's go. Come Too late to back out. Just say the word. If you keep this up, I'm going to start screaming and never, ever stop for the rest of my life. Is there a problem? No, we're fine. Great. See? I knew you could do it. Come on. <laughs> all right. Once I uh, have you all here, I will do the traditional invocation, and then you can say your vows. Would you like to practice them? Um, I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait as well. And we'll start with the readings. Should we practice them now? Yeah, I think we'd prefer to hear them fresh upon the morrow. Is that English you just said? Uh, all right, well, uh, that's fine. And now, let's see. Uh, yes, I will pronounce you man and wife, and then you may kiss the bride. Yes, indeed. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, stop with the kissing. Uh, then I'll introduce you to the crowd. You'll turn around and walk down the aisle. Then my work here is finished. That may be one of the easiest rehearsals I've ever done. Let's hope the ceremony goes as smoothly. Right. Oh, actually, can I... I need to talk to you right now. Thank you for waiting. What's wrong? I told... Spinelli that I left something here and I would meet everyone else at the restaurant. Okay, why do you have to hide from Spinelli as you're talking to me? Because I don't want to marry him. Then you... you have to tell him. No, no, I... I can't. And I'm only telling you because if I start freaking out tomorrow, you have to grab me and remind me that I love Spinelli and, and that he loves me too and how wonderful he okay, is. Okay, if, if you don't want to marry him, you need, you need to tell him. He's going to understand. No, he won't. And I'm not saying that I don't ever want to marry Spinelli. I love him with all of my heart and I want to be with him forever. I couldn't imagine my life without him. I just don't want to get married right now. Okay, then he needs, he needs to know that. Uh, I'm just gonna lie. It's fine. I've lied about a lot Max, more stuff than that. It's not fair to either one of you. No, it's gonna be okay. Just stop me if you think I'm gonna run from the altar screaming. Do not let me hurt Spinelli. I can't break his heart. <laughs> 